we pop out, you know it's a movie. If I'm in high water, then it's a jacuzzi. I got a shake, so I'm throwing deuces. I got a uh, even when I'm down bad. Yeah, I know how to pop. On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, even though I got plenty. If I'm down to my last penny, I still gotta. Still gotta. From one of the. Kansas City. Today it's a week nine matchup. And we are all. The first two months of the regular see a return here from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Start to drive here with Pacheco. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. When you talk about this Miami defense. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on a roll early. Chip away at their timing. In motion left goes Jones. First and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. The Chiefs at 6-2 and two to start play. They come in playing really well on both sides of the ball. They've won six of their last eight CD. And I thought victory. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Again, it's Pacheco. The 20! Pacheco with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly trying to score every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And if they score like right that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. Here's a chain to begin the drive. little game. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. This defense for the Chiefs, they were terrific last week in the victory over Kansas City. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Prescott to throw it. He dumps it off to a Taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. A chain on first and 10. 
And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. First down, they go back to A-chain. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Right back to A-Chain on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold on the line of scrimmage. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. Touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now... A little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks, giving him a yard up to the 42. But you look at this defense. Well, they're squarely in the middle of the pack against the run this year, number 16 in the NFL. They're not an elite unit. They're not, as what you'd say, the top part of the league against the run. They're a solid group, though. They do a good job. What they're looking for in this one, though, is an elite performance. Here's third and three. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Yeah, good for 22 and a first down. That's good for our Kansas City Chiefs. 
These two teams all tied after one. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Now Mahomes. Out loud, he finds his man. It's Jones. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. And even 100 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a 1,000-yard campaign. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play. Not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Clock keeps moving. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Those are the types of run, Charles, that they say this first-year running back can provide a lot more of in the future. He made it look easy, didn't he, picking up that first down? Some have described him as a diamond in the rough with a lot of polish, nice little buffing. This guy could be one of the top backs going forward. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside, and finished off the runner for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Prescott from the gun. That's to the rookie, Marvin Mims. 
And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 26. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. H.A. now up the middle. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. 63 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Back to A-Chain on second down. Able to slither by, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. The slot man in motion right. They chain here. They stay on the ground. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Credit the stop there to Leo Chanel getting into the backfield and stopping him in his tracks. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll try to throw now. Prescott looking in zone, but it's incomplete. It's only thought he had a room to push up down downfield, but as soon as he begins to throw, the corner is there to slam that window shut. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and threw it his way. What a big-time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as we get this up to the 29. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And, Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah. left. Card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you really see. Right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. They work now on second and nine. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and three. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. Brings up third and three. 
to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he goes out right around the 39. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to make it fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they get four there on fourth and inches. And the slot man goes in motion left. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and off the action. Here's Mahomes. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 43. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And down to the 36-yard line here. Here's second and three. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Now a timeout signaled for him. They'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. On first down, Mahomes. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball. He could not hang on. Second down coming up. Over the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Butker's kick here is good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm ready to go ahead and getting set for quarter number three here. Field goal the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. 
They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Now a second and ten. Now Prescott. And get this into the hands of Hill. Complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A give up the middle to Aching. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Waddle, the motion man, right. Right back to A-Chain on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So what all that running mean that he had in the first half ago? Because it looks like he's dried up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run for it with A-Chain. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. They run for it. A-Chain. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 153 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Here's Pacheco once again. sees something. He'll change the play. Here's Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. 
So he had the nice run to get him down there. It was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, but to Doug Palmer, you notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth. Didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum for the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. Prescott now on second down. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. And they're going to speed things up here. A-Chain gets it from the gun. Treads him with a stiff arm. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Red partner, I guess sometimes it's a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. So he left side, it's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 14. And now they'll shift things around. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. A chain. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Three quarters in the box. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. They'll look to run with A-Chain. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. He did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. Here's a quick throw right side. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. This will wind up a loss on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. So a big one coming now for Jason Sanders from the right hash and a bit of a tight angle. Sanders' kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. 
All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get it the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Pacheco gets it up the gun, and he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. But that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive drive, winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Again, it's Pacheco. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. That's another on first and 10, here's Pacheco. 201 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on them to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Chiefs are looking as if they'll move it to 7-2 as they add on to this lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. 
I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. This is first and 10. Here's Dak. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. You get into these two-minute drill situations and you often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. On second down, a run by H.A. There's some space here. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. To throw, Prescott. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Well, it's Joshua Williams with a pick, and the Chiefs will take over So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Now here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They are certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. So first and 10 after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. Mahomes going to throw it here. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First and 10 32-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Mahomes to throw on second down. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. 
They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm confused. is just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Here's first down. Now Prescott. And that will be incomplete. As time has run. 